Pizza Holics, I'm at Gino Sorbillo, Gino Sorbillo, con una margarita di bufala. Let's go try this. I am so excited. Up, guys, Gino Sorbillo, for those of you who don't know who Gino Sorbillo is, or Sorbillo, Sorbillo, I don't, I'm not sure how they say it in Italian. Gino Sorbillo, I'll say it the American way, Gino Sorbillo. It's actually Sorbillo, but anyway, enough about the name. The guy is a, is a world-class pizza chef in Naples. His pizzeria uh, in Naples is, uh, he's got, I think, four of them out there. Naples in New York, ladies and gentlemen. Naples in New York. The pizza's in the sun, so pardon the light, the difference in lighting. And I can tell you right now, I've never seen a pizza like this. Never. I mean, look at that creamy cheese. This is a margarita con bufala. Voglio una margarita con bufala. That's what I said when I called them. The lady didn't, um, didn't understand Italian. Uh, but um, uh, I'm sure Gino Sorbillo does. So <laughs> uh, we're going to go and grab one. Let's get a little bit of uh, sanitizing going on. Let's throw the sanitizer on. And uh, I'm excited. This thing's got to cool down. The place is right down the street. It just came out of the oven. It cooks in less than two minutes. This is such a delicate crust. If you watch the pizza show with Frank Pinello, uh, he did a piece on Sorbillo. Okay, got one. Let's give it a little fold. This is not New York pizza, obviously. It's so delicate, guys. Oh. Naples flop. Naples flop. <laughs> I want Naples flop. Guys, I just found authentic Neapolitan pizza for the first time in my life. And the reason why I say that is because first and foremost, the crust is so, uh, it melts in your mouth. It's not, it just melts in your mouth. It's supposed to be thin. Where a lot of the Neapolitan style pizzas that you get out here in New York City, I find them to be very bready and doughy and pillowy and soft, but not thin and not, not delicate like a crepe. And that buffalo cheese. That is real buffalo cheese. Check out that char. All right, guys. I got to hurry up and inspect this pizza before I eat it all. I can easily eat two of these pies. They're so thin. They're so light. Uh, and like I said before, the crust is almost like a crepe. That, that's the way authentic Neapolitan pizza should be like. The cheese is thrown on the pizza after the pizza is cooked. At least that's how it should be done. That's how they do it in Naples. And speaking of that cheese, this is called a margarita di bufala because it's made with bufala cheese. That's bufala cow milk cheese, guys. And it's so creamy that you can put that cheese on the pizza after it cooks, after it comes out of the oven, and it will still melt. It will still melt. That's how creamy the cheese is. This is some quality stuff, guys. And I've had buffalo pies before. Let me tell you, man. I don't know if places are bullshitting me when they put that stuff on the menu. But this cheese tasted unlike anything I've ever had before. This is absolutely 100% real mozzarella di buffalo. Made from buffalo cow milk. It's healthier. You don't have to worry about hormones and additives and things like that. It's more nutrient dense than regular cow milk. Uh, it's just healthier and it, it tastes, uh, if I were to describe it, it, it's got a funky taste to it, like hot milk. That's the only word I can think of to describe this cheese. And that's funky, man. It's very gamey. That's another word I'd use to describe this cheese. It's gamey. Well, and it's so creamy, guys. Look at the sauce. It almost turned the sauce orange in the middle and it, it kind of appears to be like a blush sauce because the the milk the milky cheese is so creamy that it kind of fused with the sauce and it turned it pink but on the edges the sauce remains red and that sauce was wonderful guys this is imported sauce from naples very possibly grown in the volcanic ash rich 
soil in Naples. It's such a naturally sweet tomato and the basil didn't really smack me in the face uh, but it was a pretty good and there's he only put like two leaves on it. There were only two little sprigs of basil on the whole pie. I would have preferred a little more. A minor gripe and the crust guys. The crust delicious speckled with char bulbous airy. Now no reason to do a cold test and test for flop and things like that. It's a Neapolitan. It's going to be floppy okay and uh you may not like that. The guy from Baston, the guy from Boston thinks all Neapolitans taste the same. He's out of his mind. The flour is imported as well. The flour used to make this crust. And there's some crisp to it. Guys, Gino Sorbillo. Or Gino Sorbillo. I can't say the name right. Gino Sorbillo. Here in the East Village. It's nothing short of a 9-2, guys. A 9-2. I enjoyed the overall taste of this pizza. It's up there with some of the greats. Uh, Lucali. It, it, it's just the taste. The taste of that sauce. That gamey, funky buffalo cheese. And there's, you know, there's, it's a very simple pie. Crust cheese sauce. That's it. There's nothing grated on it. It's just quality ingredients. The three components of the pizza all reap of the utmost quality. I don't care about the crisp. I don't care that it's a little floppy, it's a little soggy in the middle. Let me tell you, this is one of the richest tasting pizzas I've ever had. If you notice, the crust is almost soaked in good olive oil, in fresh, vibrant olive oil. You can just see it. There's quite a bit of it on there. The taste taste I've never tasted anything like this before the cheese and the, the, the lightness of the crust the lightness of the crust it's something that I've never experienced before it's it was just new to me I you know pizza just became new to me again and that hasn't happened in a while so a 9-2 for Gino so below come out here New York City East Village a uh, beautiful place in and out I wanted to get a shot of the oven but you know, people are working in there. I don't want to flash the camera around sometimes. So anyways, guys, I hope you enjoyed the review. 9-2 Gino Sorbillo, authentic Naples, comes to New York. Go out and try it. I hope you guys enjoyed this review. I did. And until next time, keep those bellies full. Preferably with some authentic Napolitana pizza. This is Antonio coming to you from New York City. Signing off.